Wow, the Lord bless you this morning. I bring you greetings from my father, Dr. Chris Okafo, and I declare that wherever you are watching us from this morning, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you. This is the most exciting time on television. This morning, the 16th of October, 2021. I, I, I want to share with us of our daily devotional give us these days and i want to sincerely thank my father and the lord dr chris okafo for giving us this privilege and this opportunity to get aligned with the word of god through this program papa thank you so much and we declare that the oil of god over your life will not run dry what our father has for us this morning in our daily devotional your exact need your exact need wow your exact need your exact need that means there are needs that we we have at a particular time and our father wants to make us understand how we can get our exact need from god our anchor scripture for today 16th of october is matthew chapter 7 verse 7 matthew chapter 7 verse 7 i want to read it say ask and you shall be given seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you wow hallelujah this is an open check that god has just given unto us that we should ask it shall be given we should find we shall see we should knock the door shall be opened unto us we should knock the door shall be opened unto us. that means whatsoever we need is available wow 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 whatsoever we need is available that means god is not running a task -a to get our need provided the problem is we've not been asking and that is why it looks as if we've not been receiving we've not been knocking that is why it looks as if the door refuses to open we've not found that is why it looks as if we are not seeing anything and from our key verse this morning philippians chapter 4 verse 19 philippians chapter 4 verse 19 he said but my god shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by jesus christ wow my god my god shall supply all your needs all your needs that means these you don't have limitation to what you want my god shall supply all your needs my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches that means whatsoever you are looking for is not in anybody's back account it's according to the riches of god that god releases it look at me what the bible is trying to say here is that god will bless you even more than what you think but the problem is have you been asking have you been knocking have you been seeking because until you ask you shall not receive until you knock you cannot the doors cannot be open and until you find you cannot see i want to tell you child of god uh, look at me god is ready god is ready everything that we need is available everything that we need or we ever need is available are you hearing what i'm saying look at me the name of jesus is so powerful he said and you ask me anything in my name anything wow this is an open check anything in my name and anything you ask in the name of our lord jesus christ shall be given unto you say and my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through jesus christ so our father told us this morning he said what a joy to know that god has god the unknowing god the omnipotent the lord knows that we have needs part time more than we do yeah wow this is a loving father god knows that we have needs part time more than we do there are things that we actually think we don't need but god knows that we need them wow and that is why he said he will supply all our need according to his riches in glory. This is true because he is the maker. He understands you, your situation, beyond your own comprehension. Wow. If God is the one that makes us, he understands what we are going through. He understands how to navigate us out of every issues we are going through. He understands how to make us get through. Is the one that makes us. So he understands this thing even more than ourselves. There are some times that what we don't even need, God provided because he knew that we would need it tomorrow. Wow. Father, thank you for providing all our needs. Thank you for giving us this opportunity that every time we knock, the door is always opening for us. Thank you, Father. For this reason, it is always better to seek his opinion in your life. In Proverbs chapter 3, the Bible said, Lay not on your own understanding. 
Lay not on your own understanding. He said, in everything, in everything you do, we should what? Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. You hear me? It takes the one that institutes a journey to know how to navigate against storm. So God is the one that institutes the journey of our life. And he said, in everything, in every second, in every minute, in every single seconds of our life, we should depend on him. We should not think we know it all. He can navigate our life. He can, look at me. He has everything in stock. He's not, he's not looking for anything to be provided again. He has everything in stock. The pressure of life are capable of making people ask for wrong thing. Wow. There are many of us, what we're actually asking for is not what we need. And the reason why God has not actually given us what we ask for is because we've been asking our means. Because we are asking out of our own situation, out of our own condition. We are not asking from the direction of God. We are, because the Bible said the other day, it was Jesus that was speaking. He said, if you earthly fathers know how to give good gifts unto your children, he said, how much more your heavenly father? How much more your heavenly father? And the heavenly father is telling us this morning that we should ask we will receive everything we are asking of wow for example a young man who has been unemployed for a long time praying for the first time for wife wow a man that is has been unemployed and he had opportunity to pray and what he's praying for his wife that is a wrong prayer that is a wrong prayer what this kind of person needs to pray for first is job because before God gives you wife, he must give you work. Before God brought Eve, God created a garden for Adam to walk. So hear me, child of God, there are many things that we are actually looking for that it looks as if it is not available now is because God knows that this is not the right time for us to have it. God knows that this is not the best time for us to have it. Many of things that we call delay is actually deliverance in disguise. God is actually keeping it for the best time. The Bible said he makes everything beautiful at his own time. He makes everything beautiful at his own time. That is the wrong thing to ask. You are believing God for a job. Instead of you to pray for a job, you are praying for a wife. It's the wrong thing to ask. His first needs is to settle down with a job before he settled down with a family. So many of us look at me, child of God, it looks as if God has not been giving us everything we are actually seeking for. No, God has been giving us everything we are looking for, but what we are asking for is not what we need. And God is not a God that wastes resources. No, because if he brings what we are asking for now, he knows that we will waste it because that is not what we need now. God will give us what we need per time, per seconds, per minute, per every hour of our life. Wow. Wow, what, an, what, a, what an interesting thing to know. Many people pray to God about their want. But interestingly, he did not promise to meet your want. Wow, wow, wow. My father just said something that is mind-blowing here. He said many people pray to God about their want. But God did not promise to provide our want. Yes, the only thing he said, I shall supply all your need, not all your want. A, a young man that, that has accommodation issue and is praying for iPhone 12. It's a wrong prayer. iPhone 12 is a want. The, the, the depressing need at hand now is what? Your accommodation issue. Somebody that, had, that needs the touch of God over his health is praying for money to buy a car. No, that car will not come because that is not what you need now. That car is actually your want. The greatest need now is what? Your healing. So the reason Bible said many times we ask, we don't receive because we ask our means. Many of our Requests to God sometimes they are they are very they are very selfish intention wrong motive and look at me when your motive is not right God will not give you what you are asking for but as soon as your motive is clear and correct God gives you what you are looking for wow 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 He wants to meet our needs according to His riches in glory wow this is very deep according to His riches in glory that means God will not bless you from any man's pocket wow. Wow, 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 wow. So this is why you must always look to God. The Bible said, he that put his trust in men, men, is what? His cause. He said, woe unto him that put his trust in men, men. God will bless you according to his riches in glory. And I tell people, child of God, that your blessing is not from abroad. Your blessing is from above. Because he said, he will supply all your need according to his riches in glory. Wow. Avoid anxiety. Shun unbelief. Embrace faith. Don't be despair. 
put your trust in God. God has the ability to meet your request. And that is why I tell people that in our work with God, in our faith work with God, there are two things that we must exhibit. Number one, the Bible says that is coming to God must know that he exists and is the one that rewards those that diligently seek him. So here is talking about the person and the ability of God. One thing you must know that yes, God exists. Another thing you must know that he has the capacity to provide and produce everything he has promised wow god is not that your uncle in the village that we say a thing and it will not come to pass the bible said with two immutable things it is impossible for god to lie it is impossible for god to lie child of god the only thing god wants from you is for you to trust him for you to believe in him for you to depend on him for you to put his integrity into trust he will not lie. He has done it before. If he can do it before, then he can do it again. He has everything. He said, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, Say the Lord of hosts. So you must believe in the person of God. You must believe in what? The ability of the person of God to release your needs. He's going to bless you according to his riches in glory. But sometimes it's very difficult for some of us to trust God because one, we actually don't know his person and we actually don't know his ability to fulfill what he has promised. He never fails. He does not have track record of failure or disappointment. Wow. Mm. He does not have the track record of failure or disappointment. Show me anywhere in the scripture that God promised something and the thing did not come to pass. Hear me, child of God. But the problem here is many times we want to receive from God, but we are not ready to go by his anchor principle. No, look at me. If you are depending for kingdom resource, then you must also be willing and obedient to obey the anchor principles that anchors the principle and the supply of the kingdom. So look at me, child of God. The only thing you need is faith. The only thing you need is belief. The only thing you need to do is to what? Act accordance to what God has promised. Wow. Shun unbelief. Shun lack of faith. Put your trust in God. He has the capacity to supply everything we want. We're going to go on a short break now. And when we are back from the break, I'm going to share with you Grace Nation thought for the day. Sit back, relax. I'm coming. Want to grow in your Christian walk? Meditate the Word of God the right way? Establish a prayer life the right way? Time to go deeper the right way? Give us this day. The devotional book is here. Available now. For inquiries, please call plus 234-80-3272-9060 or plus 234-80-7500. 733-75176 Wow, it's good to have you back. Thank you so much and I hope you've been blessed this morning. I want to share with you the Grace Nation thought for the day. God cares continuous for us. God cares continuous for us. Look at me. The, the care of God for us does not go on break. The care of God for us, does not, it's not a part-time thing. No, it's a lifetime thing. Once we are committed to serve Him for the rest of our life, once we are committed to trust Him for the rest of our life, once we are committed to believe in His ability that He can do it again and again, then His cares for us continues for life. So I want to encourage you this morning that everything we are believing Him for, He has the capacity, He has the resources to provide. He doesn't need to talk to anybody. This is the God I know that he lifts people without consulting anybody. He blesses people without consulting anybody. But hear me for God to supply your need, your love for him. Your service to the work of the kingdom must be intact. You must be deliberately committed to the word of God. You Look at me. There is no promise in the Bible that is not condition attached. Now the condition for our supplies to be meant is what? Ask. Don't assume God knows what you're going through. Yes, he knows. But he wants you to ask. Because my father said that when God made men, he gave us the dominion mandate. 
He exceeded himself from him. He said, let them have dominion. So God wants you to ask. He's a father. He wants a relationship. You don't want something from your earthly father and you assume he's going to know your needs. No. You have to go to him. You have to tell him, Daddy, this is what I need. So how, how many of us can go to God this morning and say, God, this is what I need. I need house rent. I need school fees. I need a job. I need healing in my health. I need miracle children. I need visas to be released. And I can assure you, child of God, that is going to come. It's going to come. He has the ability. He has the capability. He has the resources to give you all your requests. Wow, wow. What an exciting thing to know. So please, this morning, I want you to take this prayer with me repeat after me say thank you jesus say thank you lord for i know you are too faithful to fail me wow 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 tell him say father thank you because i know that you are too faithful to fail me i know that you are too faithful to fail me i want you to be be, be deliberate in your speaking and i want you to mean it from the depth of your heart tell him thank you because you know that he is too faithful to fail so as you begin to trust in him David said the other day, he said, I was young, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their seed beg for bread. He said, it is useless to wake up early in the morning, to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. He giveth sleep to his beloved. Wow, what an interesting thing to know, that God has the capacity to give you everything you need. So let me quickly share with us our Bible reading plan for the year. You know, my father want us to be closer to God. He wants us to, 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 to get our relationship with God to the next level. And one of the way we do this is by what? We must deliberately acquaint ourselves with the study of God. He said, how will a man make his way prosperous? By what? By seeking and by following the precept of God. So our, our daily reading this morning is Zephaniah chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. And Acts chapter 24, Acts chapter 24, before I leave your face this morning, one thing I want you to know is that God has the capacity. God has the resources. He has everything to supply our need. The silver is his, the gold is his, said the Lord of hosts. Until I come your way next time, my name is Pastor Felix, Dr. Chris Okafo is my father. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord and I declare that the hand of God rests upon you and the grace of God upon my Father you will enjoy continually. Effort is good, but grace is better. God bless you. Want to grow in your Christian walk? Meditate the Word of God the right way? Establish a prayer life the right way? Time to go deeper the right way? Give us this day. The devotional book is here. Available now. For inquiries, please call plus 234-80-3272-9060 or plus 234-80-733-75176.